Hello everyone, Emperor Bubbles is back. This time for Total War League's Triumvirate Tournament, a 3v3 extravaganza. And we have a very special matchup for you here today. On one side, we've got Bactria, Masaisley, and Galatia, that's Goon, Moore, and Conan going up against another stacked powerhouse team. We got Swaby, Bowie Eye, and on the end, Saba. Saba is Beck, Bowie Eye, Casually, a Total War League Season 3 uh, top 4 finisher. Sean on the left end as the Swaby. As there's some Skirm Cav on both sides pushing out wide. There's just, there's some good armies here. I think Sean's going with a Sword Master front. He's got, uh, He's definitely pulling up the five Swordmaster front, so very, very strong there. Galatia, sure to have lots of Legionnaires. I see, uh... Oh, maybe we can go in slow motion so the Emperor can go over this. We got three, that's... Is that six? Five? I don't know, five? And then some swords on the left flank, and more on the right. There's just a big, heavy Galatian Legionnaire front. And look at this, Masaisley bringing five armored Numidian Cav. We're following Total War League's battle rules, uh, so everything goes, you just can't double down on factions, and once you use a faction, they are done. Use it or lose it, as they say. The Celt Warrior front from Bowie Eye in the back, the sword followers. He's got two, three, four, five, and six, seven sword followers. I don't think he has any. Okay, well, never mind. He does have one O-Sword and the O-Sword General Saba with a big shock cav route. Four and five shock cav, some slingers in the back, and a lot of Axe Gat Marauders. Caravan Guard on the left flank with the Sabian Spear guys. He's pushing up wide, protecting the flank. Bactria. Lots of Skirm Cav. Looks like we got a four. Was that some Tarantine? Three Tarantine and two Scythian Horse Archers. I do love the Tarantine Cavalry. And on his front line, some Slingers, some Hillmen to take some blows. And in the back, the Cav Heavy build, the Cataphracts, Noble Horse, Bactrian Noble Cav, another Scythian Archer, and the Bactrian Royal Cav there, Light on the Melee, three Thorax, Masaisley's Frontline, Desert Legionnaires, that's what, five? And in the back, new Midian Light Infantry is a great, great uh, flanking unit. Not, uh, not too special up front, but you see a 28 charge bonus, so they can get the job done there. Now we see Bowie Eye wasting no time getting into the battle as he is pushing up and Masaisley responds accordingly backing away. The arrow view, lots going on right here. You see some push, some push. Look, you can barely see those red lines. Some push by Swaby, Bowie Eye, and Saba. Bactra's a bit, Bactra's got to be careful here. You know, he's, he's being pushed, but I don't see much reaction yet, yet. As this skirm cav is engaging up high, Swaby hoping to make an impact as the Galatian Riders and the Numidian Cavalry are in. Big Pilla right there, so it's good start for Swaby. Swaby's probably living on Cloud9 after that huge hit. A huge, huge hit. The Slinger's in. Should there be a Pilla? Gets, an, gets a pill off, but guys, only killing two Slingers and using a full Pilla. In the meantime, the Sword Followers. Killing 19, it looks like, on that one pillar. There could have been another fire, I don't know. Some sword followers baiting, running away. Celt warriors in. Desert legionnaires pushing forward in our first engagement. There we go. Nice action as this 17 minute and 50 second battle is underway. Armies engaged. Bowie Eye up here, up top on the Bactrians. Guys, those helmet are gonna have a bad time. Do I hear the rumbles of the, of the Sabian Camel Cataphract? I do. I do. The rumble's coming, and say your prayers, Hillman. They're done. They are so done. What a favorable charge for Saba, but a nice pilla using that pilla to make it worthwhile. The Hillman routing. Some sword followers in, but good, good maneuver by Bactria. Great counter charge there. As Bowie Eyes Kelp Warriors deep into the line. And the Noble Horse going to pick those men up. Saba incoming. Saba pushing. Eastern Spearman not going to be able to hold long. We take a peek down here. The melee engagements are all here. The Desert Legionnaire in on the Sword Fallers. Some blood and death surely to commence. And that's what you do in War Blood. You, blood, you, you bleed and then you die. Or you bleed and then you kill. I don't know. I don't know. Is the Numidian Cav now? 
We see three Numidian Cav very deep into the battle here. He's got to be weary as those Germanic scout riders are firing upon. Got to be very, very weary. Do not know that they, they will survive. It's a strong unit, and to be that far back is a risk as the Galatians in. We'll see how the Swordmasters are faring. 95 there, but I think of... Oh, no. The Swordmaster has been flanked. And the Swordmaster general... I, Galatius got big numbers. The Bowie I help. There were, I think, I think there was a, a few Bowie I, or sorry, Masaisley units up there. Bowie I has been spreading his help both to Samba and this way. Bowie I is fighting a strong, strong front. He's got lots of options. There's now some backtrain, noble horse, pushing in, finding the gap. Brilliant work there from Conan to get two huge cavities. He's got options and he's gonna take them right into the Bowie I's bag. Big hate. Big, massive hit. You love to see that. Getting all up in the business is the shock have. Oh, the Sabine. No, the Marib Camel Cataphract. I don't know where the General says. No, no, no. Not today. As he is severely in the backs of those horses. I don't think they saw that coming, guys. Down to 20 men. They were surely full. A big win from Saba. This team has got to be, just got to be ecstatic about that one. The Kelt Warriors now trying to not become surrounded. There's some slingers abound, but still, there's two loose units. I'm not sure if Saba notices this as there's another big hit coming. Big hit, big trample. They've all fallen to the ground. We'll see how many get up. Looks like half are killed. As now the sword followers in to clean up the Eastern Spearmen. Tarantine Cav in the back for Bactrian. These Camel Cataphracts are not done yet. They've been in and out. Trying to avoid those Tarantine who are shooting some spear. As now the Tarantine wants some action and so do the Camel Cataphracts. <laughs> oh yeah, you love to see it. This gets the Emperor up in the morning. When, he, when, he's, when he's struggling to get out of bed, he just thinks about the Sabine Camel Cataphracts and he is out quick. Three Slingers standing in a big, big presence. This Tarantine Cav has a mass route here from Misaisley. I see, I see some units routing, yeah. I think that was a three Masasely route. As the Bactrian general trying to get in, give him some respite. 59 there, battle rhythm on the general. There is the battle rhythm being used. The Emperor's game crashed mid replay, so he's had to find where he's left off. And this is where he's left off. The Bactrian Cav using the battle rhythm as they run away. Not the best tactic, but we're still right in and deep into the battle as some Tarantine Cav trying to maybe hit some of these slingers from Saba as up here, I don't see any Swaby left. Those poor Swaby that, that they were gone in a blink of an eye. It's just the general. It's the Swordmaster General who has nobody left. I can't even see one troop. There's one troop. Can he fend off the Levy Spearmen? Let's see. Oh, are we trying to escape? Will he escape or he's taking too long to die? I want him to die. It's the, sway, the final Swaby blow trying to hold the Numidian Cav, as we talked about earlier, who are deep into the battle, are actually okay. I think they're all alive. I still see five, and that is going to be huge. Late game from Masaisley. Masaisley and Galatia looking very good. Bactria defeated. So we got a heavy Saba presence. I don't see much of Bowie Eye. I've got a few Bowie troops, but it's going to be up to this Saba melee and this Saba Cav 47 Cav and the sword followers here as well. It's a general, faction general engaged, but his noble horse having a bad time down to 10. The Levy Freeman routing, getting the sword followers in to try, to try and help. Now the question is here, I... I mean, you got to be kind of giving the upper hand to... You could go to the Cav route, but... You know, of Saba. There's just a lot more melee for uh, Galatia, Masaisley, and Bactria. Cav advantage, certainly, to the green men. The green men there. But the melee, and even maybe even the arrow advantage. Look at these Syrian archers, mind you. Pelting. Those cataphracts who are taking some damage. There's another volley. Killing a couple here and there. If you can kill one or two, even three of those cataphracts, you're going to have a you're gonna have a great time as I think the slingers are even gonna shoot he's sacrificing the slingers Bactria but 
Not anymore. Okay, I was expecting maybe Sabata push, but the arrow threat just too high. As now it looks like both sides have gathered their men. We see some legionnaires stacked, a couple Syrian archers, Numidian skirmishers. And on the flank here of Saba and Boei are the Numidian Cav. Don't, and they're not just Numidian Cav, they're armored. So an even better unit. As now Saba pushing quick. A little, a little bit premature with these, with these camels who are still being pelted down to 20 and 35. Nice volley by the riders. Probably want to get in some melee first, try to occupy some arrow, and, and then sneak into the back. There's another Bactrians and the Tarantine joining in on this excursion. Some spear to boot, and lots of slingers. Uh, so if you're Sabin Boy, you keep these slingers protected. I think you will have a fantastic time, as these camels have wasted no time, as said earlier, premature, a premature charge, premature charges usually only leave one party satisfied, but we will see here, as the cataphracts in, hacking, gnawing, and gnashing away, as they are gonna find the archers in a very big hit, very potentially game-changing move here from Saba. Who's getting in? Will route the Syrians down to 16 and 15. Goodness gracious, and 11. Surely routed, and they have. The melee is in, but the cataphracts, guys, 11. 11. And the battle lines are forming. See Galatia win down low, but some big wins from Bowie and Sava. The cataphracts paying dividends. They held on. Those, there's one left there at the general, and oh, a full. Man in the back, 48, kind of full. Kind of full. These guys need one way or the other. I don't know who's 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 up to it, but you gotta protect these slingers. It is key. As the skirm cav is looking on in the distance. And Bowie finding a nice flank on the Galician Legionnaires. So big pickup there. Wait, where'd they go? I only see Saba. Oh, I thought, I thought there was a, I thought there was a, a Boya unit there. You fool, Emperor! You fool! Cappadocian versus Marib Camel Cataphract. 34 there, it looks a bit even, but... Honestly, those Cataphracts just had a dominating performance there. As they used Trample, but now they're caught, and they're going to be losing some stamina. The melee engagements up here, the general, a, a, a spear general using... Using the battle of them, getting the, the attack bonus, the sword followers having a bad time, and the Gat Marauders trying to get in to help anybody. As now we see some gaps starting to form here. Look, you can go there. Come from there. You can come from there. That is a three gap approach. And they are taking their time. They know they have the cab advantage. They know now that they have the advantage. Look at that balance of power. Really, really turning in these past. In this, honestly, in this past minute, as the camel cataphract down to nine, his general, his poor general, one of the best units on the field of battle just cannot handle. The skirm cavs are still firing. Seven men left. As the Numidian cavs say, your days are finished, you bastard. They are certainly finished. Six men will see if he can get the route back. Opting to charge. See if he can kill him. I don't see any kills. I just see a route. There he goes. The last cataphract here. The last hope. That's these slingers too. Surrounding the slingers with his spear. Very smart move. Very smart. As the axemen are against the Nasesli men. Both eager for blood. Both wanting to kill the other. There they go. Look at this. Look at that great sword play. You always love to see great sword play. Those camels almost routing. But finding the back of the Basisli in a nice, nice maneuver. We'll see if they're still routing. They are not, but I see some slingers routing. I think morale is playing a big factor here. Look at that 25 base morale, guys, on those slingers. 35 on the Sabians. They are not going to like this Terran teen charge. I see nothing stopping. And here they come. Big hate the green pajama men. Can they take on the Tarantine calf of Bactria? Bactria gonna pick up a plethora of kills there. As they are routed 47-58, a massive route. 
massive, massive route. The spearmen were nowhere to be found. Is the camel cataract still 36? Still giving him some hope here. Routing the legionnaires, but still has to deal with a couple Tarantine and, and where are the Numidians? Three Numidians, one slinger. Spear, axeman, caravan guard, and the axe marauder. I missed this unit. A big cataract for Batria. So, honestly, the, the look, the balance of power is shot back up, but this, those Baxter and Hellenic cataphracts, lots and lots of skirm cav too. This is gonna be tough for Saba. I've seen Saba and Beck pull off amazing feats. We'll see if he can do it here. This is a three v one. Is the micro maneuver going to be very, very tough? As those two units trampled. Those poor men of Sabas, they're getting up, trying to brush off their wounds, lick their wounds, and get back into battle. Down to 118. Only killed two, but they were trampled. As the cataphracts being picked off, still on the arrow side for the uh, the Bactrians. Two slingers, and who knows how much the skirm calf have. I really wish you could see how much they had. They're still within range and they are still shooting. Those guys need to go back. They're just sitting put. And they are probably going to route from some loose slinger fire now going to the left. They say no, they're going back. If the general will send them back, they are going home back to uh, to their desert land as the Masaisley want to join them, but the Masaisley want to join them as victors back to their desert. As here they come, the x is routing, Bactria looking strong, Galatia as well. We'll see if a few charges here can pay off for these brave men. One slinger standing by, and the Numidian skirm general, Bactria noble general. Guys, the key to the battle here, there's two, are there three, I think there's three generals left. For, uh, for Masaisley, Galatia, and Bactria that is just, the morale is massive. Morale in this game is is key. Keep those units tight. Keep them ready as there's one route. The noblemen in to the axe marauders. We'll see if they can do anything against these long speared bastards and a stab right to the face. He's not going to be able to do much. Oh boy. Oh boy. The Numidian Cav now into the back. The gap marauders being surrounded. It is not looking good. For Saba, the surrounding factor huge as the Spearmen trying to keep up and the Axe Marauders still some lurking Tarantine Cav. Not looking good, but what a brilliant effort from both sides. Goon, Conan, and more proving to be the better team today as they slaughter away, kill away that, that loose horseman avenged by his men there with a big charge as it's is beast a mass gathering here as they're trying to get the final kills of the battle it's all ogre it is ogre shrek has come to the swamp and it is done and it is done let's take a peek at the stats Look at that goon putting up 1800 back 1989. It just was not enough. Sean lacking the kills. His, his, his strong uh, sword not paying off. His scrim calf did okay. It's just, let's, let's compare 44, 45, 27, and 20 to Moore's scrim calf. 269, 203, 49, 78, 41. The name of the game was the Skirm Cav as Bex Cataphracts putting up 100 plus 200 on one. That, excuse me, 150 plus, only one below 150. Casually, his strong melee build going hard. A little bit of a, a lack there on those heavy horse 18 and 30. But the Slinger's doing a decent job. And then Goud, solid as solid can be, took care of Swaby, secured the victory along with more Skirm Cav Conan. We saw his melee crumble early, but guys, the Tarantine 140 and 101, and those cataphracts who stayed long, and the general great kills there. What a game. Thank you all for watching. If you like this, guys, we play every single night. Rome 2 at twitch.tv slash curvebubbles. I hope to see you there.
you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, I do not know, whatever the people do. Until next time, brave man, glory to you and glory to the Empire.